The Favorite Child Mommy, we have uh -huh. a special request to make. I know we made a deal last week about not getting any more new things until school is out, but that's such a long time to wait. So maybe you'll consider... These! The orange ones are awesome! And I like these! The purplish ones! We're literally the only kids we know who don't have them. We'll never ask for anything again. Look, it seems you've both forgotten about the new scooters we just bought last week. And didn't you promise that you'd be on your best behavior and never ask for anything else again? It's too soon for new promises. But they're only on sale to the end of the week! Oh. You can't get everything you want, children. And that's my final word. Unbelievable! The coolest skates in the whole world, and they're not on my feet! Stop complaining! We need a plan! So get right side up and think! Hi, Max. I came to get your soccer ball. Wowzy powsy! Those are the kitty slippers that I want. Let me see that. Uh... Hey, Mommy. Do you think I could get these? Well, is this something you really want, baby? Yeah, I wanted them for a really long time. All right, then, my sweet kid. I'll pick them up after work uh... tomorrow. Thank you, thank you, Mommy. Uh, I don't get it. How did he pull that one off? What happened back there? It's obvious, Max. Look at him! His secret weapon is his cuteness. All he needs to do is look sweetly up at Mom, blink those eyes, and the whole world is his oyster. Hmm, you're right. No adult can resist a cute baby. They're like putty in their paws. I guess, but how does that help us get our skates? Mom already said no. We need to play to her weakness and act like babies. Let's, Let's do, do this! this. Did you wash up, Max? I couldn't do it all by myself. Look, this is my very favorite lunch. Thank you for making it. You're the best mommy in the world. You're welcome. Mommy, I need help with this. Max, don't you think you're old enough to handle your silverware all by yourself now? Ow, ow, ow. It's hot. Blue on it. You know how to do that. No, I don't. My tongue has a boo-boo. I need your help. Okay, here you go. Don't I get an airplane? Open up the hanger for the plane. <laughs> Eat it up. Look at my bowl. It was so good, I ate my lunch all up. Good work, Lisa. Will you give me an uppy? I oh, want no. an uppy, too. Oh. No, Max, please what? don't. <laughs> so, what just happened here? We were trying to be like Kid, because you're going to buy him those slippers. Seriously? I never expected this kind of behavior from you two. All of this because of something you want to buy. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of. You love Kid the most. You're getting him what he wants. You said no to us. We just wanted the same as him. My love for you kids isn't measured by the amount of presents I buy for you. Kid is kind of young to understand that. But you and you, the older ones, you get it. Now if you'll just help me put everything back, maybe I can see about those sales after work tomorrow. Thank you so much. You're the best mom ever. <laughs> Well, huh. I wonder what this could be. Oh. Lisa, and this one's for you. Huh? Aww. I love them. I love them. Thank you for my kitty slippers. Wait, what went wrong here? Huh? Wowzy Powsy! Mommy, look! Can you get me these awesome skates? Oh, oh please, please Mom, Mom, oh, please, please Mom, Mom, oh, please. Oh, how cute. Very well. Huh? huh? <laughs> Baby Brother. Do you mean 
play with your stuff? No, I don't. I just made up a really fun new game, Archaeologist. Hm. Come on, Lisa. It's awesome. You've got to see. <laughs> Stop dragging me around. Let go, kid. Me and Bunny Man discovered something. Just check it out, Lisa. Do I look like I'm interested in looking at your stupid kid stuff? I think that it's a cave drawing made by one of our ancestors a kajillion years ago. Like, remember how Alex said we're descended from cave wolves? What have you done? Just look! You ripped a gigantic hole in our wallpaper! And you're acting like it's some kind of game? Wait till I tell Mom! Why are you being so mean? Why don't you ever want to play with me? I'm not being mean. I'm just too big for all this baby stuff. <sighs> My brand new baby brother will be here soon. I can't wait. The two of us will live here in the nursery. It'll be great. Uh, actually... Mm -hmm. Mommy said baby brother will be living in the nursery all by himself. And you'll be living in my room. Huh? Well, well that's all right. I don't mind if baby takes my room. But won't he be lonely in here? Oh, gee. Hmm. I'll draw a picture of me right here. Then he'll feel like I'm always with him. <gasps> hey! Watch where you're going! <sighs> hmm. <laughs> He's so adorable! His name is Kid. Can I play with him now, Mommy? <laughs> Let him get a little bigger first, all right? <sighs> all right. <laughs> then can you play with him while I'm waiting? Of course. As soon as I finish my chores, we'll play. <laughs> Mom won't have time to play with you now. Did you hear that? She's too busy with Kid all the time. Well, Kid is just so little. Still, I guess he needs Mommy more than I do. Mom! Dad! Have you seen Bunny Man? What is this? Oh, we decided to redecorate a little. The pink and the hearts didn't seem quite right for a boy. Hey, he's got... But that's my bunny man! Lisa, let him have it. He wouldn't understand if you took it from him. <laughs> I wish that you had never been born! Lisa! Lisa. believe what he got away with. Wait a minute. You aren't a baby anymore, are you? I'll go and take my bunny back. I love this drawing because it looks like my sister Lisa. I wish she was with me all the time. Just look what I did. I love her so much. <gasps> uh, I was... I was wondering if you wanted to play something with me. Uh, all right. Are you still going to tell Mommy about the hole in the wall? I'm only going to tell her if I catch you. You'll never catch me, never! Rosie's Waltz. How perfect. How romantic it would be to go to a real ball. What? A ball with divine music and such beautiful gowns. But no. It's all ruined. Rosie, what is it that's all ruined? The ball is ruined because I don't have anything nice.
nice enough to wear to it. Well, then you should ask Mom if she would make a ball dress for you. Lisa, what a perfectly great idea! No problem. I'm chock full of them. Lisa, do you have an idea about my hair? Well, what about your hair? I can't go to a ball with these ponytails. No, that would just be awful. What about a perm? But what if the perm looks bad and everyone calls me Count Frizula? Hmm. Okay, come with me. I'll come along for moral support. Hmm. Ah. Alex, we need you. I'm a little busy right now, dear siblings. It's very important. All right, what is it? Do you remember that funny app you showed me with all the different haircuts and you could put them on a picture of your face? Eye hair. That's the one. You've got to run it with Rosie's picture right now. That's it. That's perfect. Just what I want. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Alex. It was my pleasure. You know, that hairstyle has some fascinating aerodynamic properties, which let one twirl while waltzing with no wind resistance. <gasps> I have absolutely no idea how to waltz. It's all ruined again. You just had to talk about waltzing. Hey, wait. I might have an idea. Uh, what you doing? Do you think you could teach Rosie how to waltz? She really wants to learn. Yeah, I'm not a waltzer, but does she want a pop and lock? You should talk to Grandpa. I've heard him say he used to love dancing. You are coming with us. She can't waltz by herself, so come on so Rosie will have a partner. Yep, when I was a young sailor, I used to adore dancing, waltzing. I would waltz all night. Will you show us? <laughs> well, I can sure try. The sea dog barks and all the fish swim in a row. And is that really what you call a waltz? <sighs> well, that's what you call a sailor's waltz. Pretty snazzy, huh? I just had such a beautiful daydream, and now it's all gone! <laughs> Hmm, it's suspiciously quiet. Mommy, Daddy, it's awful! <laughs> Don't drink some water. You what? should wipe your nose. Rosie, I've got candy. What's happening here? We've been preparing Rosie for her dream ball, but she didn't know how to waltz, so Grandma was going to teach her. But his dancing was so freaky, she had a breakdown. Waltz? Well, I can teach you how to waltz. <gasps> really? Yes, really. Madam, may I have the great honor of this dance? My dream is saved! Daddy, let's start practicing this instant! As you wish, milady. And... One, two, three, one, two, three. Sooner or later, it will happen. And when it does, I'll absolutely be ready. One thing, I still need a prince. Who's gonna help me get him? The best gift. Kid! Kid! Rosie, you're holding that newspaper upside down. Shh. Don't look this way. Pretend like you're playing. Okay. Kid, there is candy on the table. And this candy will be your reward after you find out for me. That was so good. 
All right. There's more just like that one for you when you find out what Alex, Max, and Lisa are going to give me tomorrow for my birthday. Just please, you can't tell them that I asked. Hey, Lisa, Rosie wants to know what you're giving her for her birthday, but she just told me to find out. Huh? <sighs> well, that didn't work. I guess I'll just have to do this myself. So where's my candy? <laughs> Here. <laughs> Thanks, Rosie. Hmm. <laughs> Good bear. Wrap this around. Happy birthday, Rosie. Huh? for that. Siblings, I have called all of you here for the very same unpleasant reason. All of your birthday gifts are just the worst. Huh? But there is still time to set things right. As you are all aware, our mother and our father are giving me this awesome telephone. But only the telephone itself. Which means that I will need accessories like cool headphones, a cool case, a standy thingy, and an adorable butterfly charm. Uh... You can keep this for reference. Remember, the party's at six. I'll just put the cake in the fridge. Who would have thought it? Where could they possibly be? It's their sister's birthday. Don't worry. I'm sure they'll be along. They're not going to come. I told them their presents were the worst. I'm a terrible bad person. <laughs> I'm really sorry, I... Rosie, we weren't able to get you anything. We went to every store we could think of, and none of them had the right stuff. That's so sweet. You're lovely. I don't care about presents. Aww. I just love you guys so much. I was so mean to you. I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> 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 Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! I'd just like to say how terrible it was of me to insist that you guys get me those presents. I should have known you couldn't find them in one day. But Valentine's Day is coming up, so you should all have enough time to get everything by then. But listen, now I am going to be expecting at least twice as many presents. Is that clear? Oh. Guys, I'm totally joking. 